my nephew owned the place. And like I said, we started, we had no idea what we were doing. We started with a coffee pot. Uh, it's unbelievable. So um, thank you for being here. Thank you if anybody shows up, everybody watching. This is awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, We make customized teas. We do green tea, lemon tea, and black tea, and we mix them with flavors. Here I made a peach and green tea mixture, and here I made a peach, raspberry, lemon tea mixture. Yeah. Why does that sound so fire? Are we good, bro? You already know what it is. I don't know how you having a selfie fest in the middle of our review, but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo, this is here. cheese day, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and steak Sunday. Even though, listen, what's today? <laughs> Keep lying to y'all. It's like Wednesday, bro. Why are you lying to y'all? <laughs> steak Sunday. It's Wednesday, baby. Yo, we back. Homegrown. <laughs> <laughs> Homegrown. Uh, South Philly, baby. South Philly, baby. You already mm. snow. Your boy's starving. We got the bevs in the back. Yeah, he brought all the. He got the peach. I had to give me a mixed peach and raspberry. I think she said mixed with black tea. How does that taste? It's like some fresh tea. I'm gonna blow you away, but it's good though. Sure. If, that's, if you like tea, I grab one. It's cool. Silent, silent, silent. That's what I was saying. You got you doing a little bitter? I don't know about that one, folks. See? I don't know about that one. Uh, let's restart this joke. Okay, it's free life, man. This is the boy Young Yon. All right, we outside our home growing in South Philly. We got cheesesteaks on everything roll. I know some people was asking, like, what people gonna start doing the everything roll next? Well, I guess somebody did it, and we're gonna taste it. So if you hate invention or, you know, hate new things, then you're gonna hate this one. Turn this one off. It's not, for you. it's not for you. You don't like creativity, you don't like the you know, push the envelope, then it's not for you. So you can watch the next one. But if you do, that's what we're reviewing today. All right, so we got more of a new style cheesesteak, like he's saying, everything roll, but we also got the Cooper Sharp on it as well. That's a very new thing. That's more of a younger, uh, you, you be seeing the like, old heads getting the uh, Cooper Sharp. Uh, a lot of people don't, a lot of older guys, well, it depends. depends. It's different like circles, man. I'm telling you, like, I don't want to say black and white people, but it seems like the Italians and like, some of the certain people, they, they like the Cooper Sharp. I see a lot of black people actually mad that, you know, they don't have the classic non-seater roll type of cheese sticks. But partially, I think it's because people haven't tried it. Some people tried it and don't like it, but a lot of people haven't tried it. So you gotta be open-minded too, you know? We also got a new, like I've never seen this like style of onion before, to be honest. It's more like an onion ring just without the batter than like the chopped onions. Uh, so I think that could that could potentially be interesting. I think I'm gonna get more of like an oniony taste with right, this man. steak just because they're thicker and bigger. But now I'm looking I'm looking forward. You ready for first bite? Yeah, man. Uh, let's go. Plain side for me. I do have ketchup, have plain. Let's go. Plain. Roll is definitely pretty crusty. It's good though. I like, I like the rolls, for real, for real. I do too. It's real soft and flaky too. Yeah, I'm not mad at it. That's a cool first bite. That was that was a smooth bite. And I don't even like. It almost feels toasted. Mm -hmm. Normally I don't even like toasted, but it's pretty soft. Really, really good flavor. It was frozen, but it definitely has a ribeye taste though. So I don't know if it's frozen ribeye whatever but I was I was worried that you know cooking it a little too long but that first bite was pretty good so come to show you you can't always you know judge just by looking how it's cooked you actually have to taste it you know? for me where I'm at this is more of like a cheese steak than like a like a real like traditional steak where you get more of the steak taste like this is a lot of cheese for me okay. like my bite like the Cooper Sharp is very strong it's a very like specific taste. 
I'm getting a lot of Cooper Sharp. The steak's still there. It was a pretty fat bite. I'm not gonna lie. Cause you know, if it ain't fat, we ain't eating that. Pause. <laughs> but <laughs> oh, that's definitely a pause. <laughs> but um, <laughs> it's, yeah, I, I'm getting more of like a cheese vibe, kind of like the Rook. If y'all ever been to the Rook, this is very similar to the Rook for me. Personally, but, personally, I, I get more steak. Honestly, like I, you've seen if you watch my shows, you've seen me complain about overloaded cheese. This one. I saw him put it on there. He put two and a half slices on. Um, not just because I saw him put it on there, but I took a bite. My first bite was like steak flavor, which is what I wanted. And then we've been like, you know, setting up the camera for a little bit. And a lot of the other steaks, to me, they get super clunky and whatever. This one, at least so far, it just seems like it's mixed in. It's not for me. And I don't know, Jan has a little different opinion, but hey, I want to take a bite of my ketchup side. Also, I mean, if you look at it, steak-wise, it's not like a crazy big sandwich. Like, you can see that's a half, but, man, this joint is loaded. Like, between the bread, they ain't playing around. Look how much is in that steak. Like, that's some serious, serious portion sizes. Like, I respect it. Now, I do understand what you mean, though. This bite was a little more cheesy. Yeah. But, whatever some reason why, seem like it blended, blended a little better than when I get so much steak and then they just put a whole bunch of like I, I guess they give you a little bit less steak so it blends better because when they put a whole bunch of steak on there and then a whole bunch of cheese on there I taste just like clumps of cheese it's like super thick this one doesn't taste as thick I get nice balance I should say so what did you think like uh, the cooking style, uh, the way he did it, like with the uh, like the wok top, like and then they put the uh, water, okay, to, like yeah. steam it kind of. Do you like that, that style, or do you just I like mean, that's, that's, the grill? That's it poppy up? style. That's like if you ever go to a poppy store, like that's how they steam it. Like I don't care how you do it. Like, I care about how it tastes. So if I like the thing is, Yan usually gets you know the behind the scenes footage. Yeah. I don't normally get the behind the scenes footage, so I don't always know how it's cooked specifically. So. I don't care, you know, visually, like, how it's cooked. I care about how it tastes for the most part. So, what about you? Um, I'd say I like the steaming method more because I feel like the cheese always comes out more melted. And then it's also more, like, gooey, more stringy. And I feel like it takes a little bit longer to solidify, whereas I feel like if they're putting it on the grill mm -hmm. or the, um, what's the time? Mm -hmm. the, uh, <laughs> the griddle. If they're putting it on like the griddle, without the water, without the steam, I feel like the cheese really solidifies quickly. The steak doesn't stay hot as hot um, for longer durations. Makes sense. I know a bite of that this roll. Let me say, if you if you don't like different kind of rolls, it's not for you. But I got one where it was mostly roll, a little bit of steak, a little bit of cheese. That was a really good bite, and I'm always a fan of, of thicker cheese steaks, but I think it's a really good cheese steak person. Like, you know, honestly, like, I'm gonna have to agree. Lefty, I'm gonna have to shout out Lefty. Lefty said, come try this one. And honestly, I'm not disappointed, for real, for real. Personally, I gotta agree with that statement, you know. The onions aren't really affecting this steak as much as I thought they would be. Like, I thought the onions were a little bit bigger than I'm used to, so I was like, all right, it's gonna be very, it's going to be different from the ones I tasted, like, but the onions are kind of being overwhelmed a little bit by the steak and the cheese, which is, you know, it is what it is. I don't want to necessarily be eating only onions, of course, but I still think this is also a very good steak. I'm not going to say it's a top five steak because I be capping y'all. You know we don't cap over here, but still, I think, I don't know, it's been what, like three weeks? This was this was a good jaw to break break the streak of not eating steaks. And I like the roll. I do. It adds a unique flavor, a unique style, a unique just it's like a their twist on a classic sandwich, which I like. You know, I want people to be bold out here. I don't want the same thing every time. That's boring. You gotta try something different. 
Personally, I get all steak flavor for the most part. Not no extra seasoning. It's Cooper Sharp, but it's blended in and it's melted well, so it didn't get as thick as when it's like not melted as well. It definitely, I didn't see him put any seasoning on it, but I saw. You did? Yeah, yeah. put a little bit, a little bit of uh, salt and pepper. My, Mine tastes well seasoned, so well I'm glad I'm glad he saw him put it on there, but because I didn't know if he put anything on there, but mine doesn't taste like it's under seasoned at all. Me and Yang gonna go in different directions. Like I can tell by the way he's talking that we're gonna go in different directions on this one, but it's fine. I like that. I personally like that. I like, you know, when everybody got their personal taste and preference, you know? So yeah. You talking score wise? Yeah, I'm talking score wise. I don't know, I don't know what you want to hear and talk about it. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I, I'm ready to get my score. Anyway, score wise, I think I'm gonna go. This is a tough one because, like, I was thinking about giving the average score like six eight, because like it's a it's a good steak, but you know what I'm saying. But I'm gonna say the roll is the difference between the six eight and the average, and like being that slight tier above. I'm gonna have to go solid seven. You know, I I don't really like giving like. Whole numbers like seven, eights, or nines. I'm gonna go with solid seven because this roll was different. It had a unique flavor, a unique taste. Personally, today, like again, it's sometimes dependent on the day. Like sometimes you know how you feel like you want a little bit more steak, uh -huh. and then you want a little bit more cheese on a different day. Like today, I would have preferred more of like a steak steak. Whereas I feel like this is a little bit overwhelming with the cheese. It's still a good steak. I think you guys would like it if you try it, but. For me on on this day, the way I'm feeling, I'm gonna go seven. I think the steak is really good. It doesn't have anything that a lot of the places that other people rank high don't have. Sometimes people see fresh shredded or my fault, fresh shaved ribeye. Mm -hmm. They give it a higher score. This is frozen. It does definitely taste Cooper sharp, cheesy. But it's not overwhelming to me. Still get a lot of steak, flavor. Maybe it could have been a little juicier, but we're all mixed with the flavor. I like it at a Sorry I gotta get the rate in this way, but you know, the bro, amazing. The flavor was actually on point, but it could have used a little more meat and it could have been just a little bit juicier. So all in all, phenomenal but i'm gonna have to go with a four two like i said i'm sorry you got to get it this way but you know i'd rather be accurate and keep my you know my rankings in order than be inaccurate so it's free life mac cheesesteak run yeah i just had one that was really good too like that one probably had that was at gazo that probably had a different flavor if you like that but it, to me it was a little thick this one has flavor as well but the everything roll is different, a little twist. I like to give credit for people who don't make the same exact cheese thing. So, you know, if I go have, during my playoff run, I have a bunch more cheese steaks and I have it back to back to back and this one doesn't qualify, then you know it's gonna be at the bottom. But as of right now, I actually like it. all the flavors blending together. Like, I wouldn't be mad if somebody gave me this cheese steak, didn't tell me anything about it. I'm like, nah, this is phenomenal. So I think it's really good because he thinks it's decent. But, well, you know, I mean, a 7 is not anything above know. a 6 8 is pretty good. Okay. No. I said decent. I, on my I channel. I didn't say it yeah. was awful. I didn't say it was awful. Yeah. But I mean, for me, if you get anything over a 4, it's really good. That's how I felt. So, but, hey, you know. <laughs> I'm going to just say this is still in my top 25. I think the, Man. like, I think this might be 25. <laughs> Like exactly, I'm pretty sure I had Lazaro's in there at like 25, but I gave it like a 6'9 or something like that. Hey, well, ain't, ain't close. Oh, we, we, we good. We good, man. Alright, bro, this so, has been your boy Young Yan. It's Food Life, Mac. This has been Steak Sunday for me. Alright, it's just Cheese Steak Ryan, whenever we feel like getting a cheese steak. Hey, y'all already know the vibe. Hopefully, if you guys enjoyed the video, you know, remember to hit that like button, subscribe, you know, comment. One thing I'm gonna say is tell us how you feel. Are you closer to Yan's side? Or you closer to my side? Like, I know some people see the frozen, and you know that's a turn off from them right away. 
some people don't care. They're used to frozen and they just go for the taste. So I want you guys to tell me what you think of this one, you know? Like closer to the other side, you think it's like good, but nothing nothing spectacular, or you think it's like, oh, it's unique and, and it's really good. So let us know. I mean let us know and let us know if you guys want us to collab again. <laughs> you know we be out here. Alright. We love y'all. Peace. I need you guys to help me grow my channel and grow my buzz. This is Food Life, man. This is Cheesesteak Run. I need from the young boys to the OGs to show me some love. Like, comment, sub, share. All of the above. Yeah. Yeah, you can do your little thing. Let me get my little bath on. Do my little thing. Yeah, we got coffee talk. <laughs> young Yard. Foodie Life back. Today we got the banana iced coffee. It's Foodie Life, man. I'm with the boy Young Yah, baby. Okay, I'm actually on his thing. This is his cam today, so. There he go, blaming me again. He actually, no, no, I ain't blaming him. I'm just saying, like, you know, he, he want me to host it, but, like, you know, we kind of on his time. But that's, all, that's what I was saying. You got it. You're a little bitter? I don't know about that one, folks. See? I don't know about that one. That wasn't for me. My, wasn't my, my team was good. His, his team was a little bitter, I guess. I don't know if it was for me. I'm not saying yeah. it was bitter. I'm just saying, like. My team was good. Y'all you know what I'm saying? All right, well, if you want something, I'm going to All right, thank you. I appreciate thank you. you. That's great. great hospitality out here.